Um, it was a pretty good ball game, pretty well played. Um, I thought, uh, you know, as far as our starter, Blaine Knight, um, he, he didn't have his command today, really. And, and USA, USC did a great job of laying off a lot of pitches, got his pitch count up. I mean, they're, uh, you know, that's a big part of their offense. They have a, an older team with, uh, you know, a lot of guys that uh, have a good feel at the plate. And, and I thought, uh, you know, defensively, we made some, some good plays. We, you know, they hit some balls right at us. And, you know, on our offensive end, you know, we battled. We only struck out a couple times on the day. Their starter, I don't know if he struck us out. And, uh, you know, we uh, got the big two out home run and then uh, just kind of manufactured a couple of runs there. And I think it was the fifth to, to give us a four run lead that we scored two runs on one hit. Um, uh, but we found a way to win. Bottom line, that that's the thing. And, uh, you know, I thought Jackson Rutledge came in and did exactly what, what he wanted him to do. And that's throw the ball over the plate with a little velocity and mixed in a couple breaking balls and, and didn't give him anything, any free passes really for the most part. And, uh, you know, we fielded behind him pretty well. I thought Jax Biggers made a couple of nice plays. We turned a really nice ground ball double play to Shaddy's left that, uh, you know, didn't give him any extra bats there. Are freshman pitchers exceeding this point in the season where you thought you'd be right on track or what? Well, I, I wouldn't, I don't know. I wouldn't say exceeding. I, I think, you know, we saw in the fall that these guys were pretty talented. And it's really more about, uh, you know, the the mental makeup there. You know, I think Jackson Rutledge was really frustrated the way it w went against uh, Cal Poly last week when he mishandled a ball that was hit back to him, went down and got it and didn't have a grip and threw it down the right field line. They end up winning the game. And, uh, you know, I think he was ready to get back on the mound and he showed what he can do. And uh, but I don't know. That's a tough question to answer. You know, I think I still need to see him a little bit more. But I guess up until now, they've done everything we wanted them to do, and that's compete and throw strikes. That's what they've done. How big was it for Blaine just to battle through yeah. through that today? Because those first two innings could have gone. Yeah, it could have gone either way. I mean, they lined out to first. I mean, it's kind of the luck of the game or the unluckiness of the game sometimes when that could have tied the game up real quick. And, you know, he knew that. Uh, for him to go out and give us six innings, you know, for a while there, it looked like he was going to give us maybe four, five at the most. And we almost pulled him out for five, but he really wanted to go back out. And he actually had a good, really good sixth inning through some of his better located fastballs and uh, a couple of nice off speed pitches. And, uh, you know, I think it, the maturity is coming out in him now that he doesn't have to have his best, best stuff and he can still win. On field, home run, just kind of what you. You know, uh, with the lineup, we had a lot of left-handed hitters in the lineup, and it was just good to see, you know, Luke, you know, wait out the first pitch. I think he laid off a, a slider and maybe a pitch, another pitch. I'm not sure if he hit the second or third pitch, but uh, he got one he liked. It was a fastball or a cutter that uh, was up in the zone a little bit. and. Uh, I didn't know if it was going to get out of the park, but definitely get over the outfielder's head and score a run. It was nice to see it get out. Um, you know, he's he's a veteran in the middle of the lineup that uh, you need that presence in there, especially a good right-handed hitter when you've got all the lefties. Uh, it's nice to have one that can pick up some RBIs, and I think he, he drove in three of our runs today. Even his last, you know, I guess his second to his last at bat when he when he was got behind in the count and hit slapped a couple balls foul. And then, uh, you know, chopped him up the third baseline. And we were going on contact. We had Cole at third who can really run. He got a great jump. And the third baseman, you know, realized that. And he bobbled the ball a little bit. Even if he'd have filled it, it would have been bang, bang. He'd had to make a perfect throw. So that was good to, to you know, for him to at least put the bat on the ball and drive in another run. So good day for our cleanup hitter. We talked about it yesterday. But, you know, with Jackson giving you three, that's 21 innings that your freshman have given you this week to kind of really save the bullpen for the, the back end. Yeah, I mean, and it's not like the guys we've been throwing are guys we don't feel can help us on the weekend. It's just kind of the way it worked out and the way we wanted to go through the beginning of the season. And, and with Rutledge being able to come in, I mean, the game, four-run lead with that lineup over there, those guys know how to win. It wasn't in the – it wasn't over. And uh, we had he, we felt like he was one of our best options. And uh, we knew that he, he hadn't thrown all week and had a couple good bullpens and was ready to go. And, uh, you know, again, he just – you know, I guess built up a little more confidence with his teammates and definitely with, with me and the other coaches. You had to make some defensive plays. Yeah, we did. We made it, we made some good defensive play. Did yeah. Jackson have to handle one? 
You say what now? Jackson, he had to handle one. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, he's he's not a bad fielder. He just made a bad play last week. I mean, because he panicked when he knocked the ball down and reached for it, didn't quite get a grip, and he finally did. He, uh, he you know, he threw it down the line. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I thought overall – the defense was good. You know, the play at first when it was scored an error, and I'm sure it was an error, uh, you know, Blaine just didn't touch the bag. And uh, I don't know if that goes to Gates or Blaine, but it looked like it went to Blaine. So uh, just one of those things, bad angle, maybe to first, but, you know, Gates threw the ball a little bit behind him. I don't know what happened there, but for the most part, we played good defense. Casey Martin, your third baseman for now? Or? Well, he is right now. You know, he brings a little spark to the lineup and, um, you know, obviously he's been hitting pretty good. He is, he, he's definitely a threat to steal a base, too. And he's got, you know, he can get a double, he can get a home run. He, he, he's, uh, he's a good option.